Another protocol, which is digital, right? So we went through surgical, went through analog, just simply analog, uh, analog procedure. And then we're gonna go through a digital procedure. And this is a fascinating product that we have uh, worked with for um, a number of years now. This is a patent pending uh, process. And the iJig is a prototype for the final. Right? In other words, we've made all of the aesthetic functional changes in software, but we made it from a digital impression. And I'll show you how that works. And this does require digital impressions. We really work with all the systems. Uh, if I'm missing any here, we probably work with it. The, the, the trick with all these um, systems is that you have the ability to scan the prosthetic in your fingers and roll over to the intaglio and capture these, um, uh, these special iJig analogs. And actually they're a little, little bit different now than the ones in this picture. We use, uh, use a little different one, but these still work in case you yep. do have them already. So these are the tools, obviously an existing prosthetic, uh, a, a driver uh, for multi-unit abutment um, uh, screws and prosthetic screws and uh, iJig scan analogs, which you can buy from Row. I think they're only $25 a piece and they're reusable. You'd reuse them for every time you scan. Uh, and, uh, or, or you can use existing prosthetic screws, that's fine too. So what you'll, what you'll do, and I, I don't wanna go through the whole process. It takes a while to show the scanning of one of these prosthetics, but essentially you take the prosthetic out of the mouth and you scan the mouth. That's the first step to do. The bottom right is an image. You just scan the tissue and you send it off to the lab. Okay, that's the first event, if you will, on the iOS scanner. Then open up a new event, unless you're working with CIRAC or maybe you want other ones where you can actually stack multiple scans. But sometimes they'll get lost. You know, the scanners look for working, opposing, bite, send. And this is a little bit different. So send the bottom, bottom right off. Then you'll hold the iJig prosthetic in your fingers and you'll scan it 360 degrees so it looks like the top right. Every part of it is scanned. You'll screw the prosthetic back in the mouth and you'll scan the bite and the opposing. The next case I'm gonna show you is double arch. So it's a little bit different, but single arch, this is it. And we will fabricate this. Now the, the neat thing about this is it's sectioned. Okay, so that, that's because we don't have an analog model to put those copings in. These are not coping free yet. Uh, but what you'll do with this is you'll just simply seat this in the mouth You'll make sure that those sections are passive, that each section uh, is, um, has, has some passivity, passivity between them. You can put some dental floss through them. And then you'll do a, a, an injection procedure to loot them all together. And then you'll do a reline impression with a little bit of tray adhesive to give us any um, gaps of tissue, equilibrate and return to us physically. So I'll just go through the process real quick. This will this will just take a second. So here's an eye jig comes to the mouth, put some tray adhesive on the intaglio, seat it, screw it down. Right there's a little delivery device you can see in the top right. There's a tray that delivers it. Remove the tray, run some floss through each section, and then inject. Right, we use Stellar. You can use Voco. Or you can use Duralay. Uh, you know, a, a near zero shrinkage factor is very important. And then cure it. If it's a dual or light cure, fully equilibrate. Then capture a bite because it's equilibrated. Uh, remove the eye jig and then uh, um, just inspect the intaglio. Make sure it looks good, but there was a reline impression that, that everything is intact. And then, uh, and then send it off to us. And from that, this is what we receive. This is what they look like. And, and you, you look at the screen, you go, what, you know, what, what a mess, right? That's, uh, what, what are you gonna do with that mess? Well, what do we have here? We have teeth, just like before. We have tooth position, implant position, bite registration, opposing. We have a, a, a reline impression. So now we got an adequate, uh, perfect soft tissue model. What do we do with this? We make a, a printed trine and we go to final, or we go directly to final because the iJig was really a prototype, totally up to you, uh, but very, very efficient method, right? So, and that's four appointments, digital impression, iJig seating, prototype, final, and the, uh, the second, the third appointment, the prototype 
could be could be um, skipped. So let's let's go to the next one. This one's very quick. It's iJig. It's all the same protocols you saw for capturing uh, all the digital records with a twist. You can skip the iJig appointment. So it's still an iJig protocol because of the scan, but you don't have to have the iJig uh, seating appointment because on the top right, you did what we did in the rapid appliance. While the prosthetic is out of the mouth, you made an analog model. Just set it in stone and stick it in the mail. Because what we'll do is instead of making a sectioned prototype for final, we make one that's unsectioned and we loot the copings in on these models. And then you verify it, equilibrate it, physically send this printed try and back to us, we make a final. Very simple process, again. Uh, and, and, and it really helps to, to, to make the analog models uh, because you could skip that, that other appointment. 